What's up everybody? I went thrifting yesterday for 12 hours and this is my haul. Let me show you what I got. So yesterday was a super exciting day because it was a grand opening of a local Goodwill. And those grand openings usually have tons of stuff. Unfortunately, it was a bust. But one of my best reselling friends surprised me when I showed up. So we decided to go thrifting from nine to nine. Open to close. I spent just under $400, and after doing the math, I have around $1,200 in profits. Let me show you what I got, how much I paid, and what I think I should be able to get for each item. By the way, my name is Surf's Up. If you like these thrifting hauls, let me know in the comments below. Consider subscribing and following. I've been reselling clothing for the past eight years, but I've been on eBay since 2001. Let's dig right in. I spent around $75 at the grand opening, which is kind of a bust for me. The last grand opening, I spent around $1,000 and I made out. These boots are made by the Vintage Boot Company. I've never found these boots before, but they look really well made. They have YKK zippers, and I think I'll be able to make around $50 off these. I normally don't like going to the bins, but my good friend Bearded made me go, as always. He I got these Carhartt bibs. They're insulated and they were by the pound. So just under $2 a pound, I think I paid around six bucks for these. And these will probably flip into 50. Here's a really good brand to be on the lookout for. It's called Flint and Tinder. I paid $5 for these. I sell these for around $35 to $45 in used condition, plus buyer pay shipping. I did not look up the sold comps on these, but I already know for $5, these are Levi conductor pants. Anytime you see that type of pinstriping on there and the pockets in the front and in the back, you're not gonna lose. I, again, I haven't looked up comps, but I bet I can sell these for around $30, five into 30. A great brand to be on the lookout for is Barber. If you don't know Barber, get to know it. This is actually a women's jacket. It was $15, so I paid up for it, but it's a nice quilted women's jacket. Barber is known for doing wax jackets, and those go for quite a bit of money. Um, but this is the big tag you're looking for on these Barber jackets. Again, I didn't look up comps. I just have sold these plenty of times that for $15, I know I can sell it for at least over 50. So these are from the bins. This is a steel hat, brand new, with the cardboard inside and the tags. I probably paid a quarter for this hat, and I bet I can sell it for 10 or $12. Believe it or not, I found some on clouds at the bins. On clouds are shoes. They have the little holes. If you look at the profile, really good pair of shoes, but they were blown out all up the top. It's like a dog got a hold of them or something. No one was buying them. So what did I do? I took the insoles out and the laces, and actually I'll be able to sell these for around 10 or $12. So I got something out of nothing. Those are gonna end up at the landfill anyway, so at least they save a little something. Here's a good example of something that was priced a little high at the retail store. So this is from Goodwill, but it never sold after uh, five weeks of being in the store. It's a Martin Hardware, always find your nut, uh, and it's a dress. These come out at around $15 or $20. So for $7.99, I wouldn't have paid that at the retail store, but at the bins, this probably cost me about a dollar. This was kind of like a rolling the dice item. It is a United Colors of Bennington with a little heart. I thought it was a newer tote, but the tag is actually older. The price and the skew on it are like an older print. So I think this is more vintage and it's very lightweight. It might not look like it, but it's probably about $1.25 in cost at the bins. And I think I could probably get 15 to 30 out of this. If you watch me live, you know I complain about washing shoes, but I actually love selling shoes. To be honest, I really like selling shoes, especially if they're in good condition because I don't have to clean them. These are in really good condition. These are Merrell's. They are a hiking or a trail shoe. You can see how nubby they are on the bottom. I'm not going to have to clean these or do a thing other than take pictures and sell them. They sell for around 40 to $50. I paid 15. So that's pretty good. I also bought these Nike shoes, they look kind of goofy and they're supposed to um, for good reason because they're actually a wedge. So if you didn't know, Nike makes wedge shoes for women's, which means they kind of have a heel that comes in like this and these sell for really, really good money. Um, and with Nike, you can always look up the comps with the inside. There's a, a, some digits you can look up. It's six digits, dash followed by three 
digits. And these guys were, I paid up for these 20 bucks. I actually paid $20 for these, but I think I'll be able to get 60 to 80 out of them. So to me, paying up was worth it for these. So I know you all are gonna be like, I never find those at my stores. Well, I don't find them very often either. But when you hit 15 stores a day, you're, gonna, you're bound to find something good, right? So here's a Burberry shirt. I actually found this at the same place with those shoes and that barber jacket. But $5 Burberry long sleeve. It has the little hit right here on the front. Whenever you're looking for Burberry, there's a couple little telltale signs. The tag is a good one. When you see these like tan tags, usually they're authentic. If they don't have any tags in them at all, or just like a little white tag that says the size or made in China, they're usually not authentic. But this is $5. This actually probably won't go as much as you think, but I bet I can sell this for around 35 to 50. I know it's a pretty big price range, but I didn't comp it out. The same store, I got this uh, Vineyard Vines Performance. So I don't really get Vineyard Vines polos anymore, but if they're the Performance Series, I will pick these up. So like the stretchy golf shirts, it does have a golf course logo on it, but it's not gonna hurt the value really too much. I paid $5 for it. I sell these for around $22.99 plus ship. Same store, I got these Roan shorts. Now be careful with Roan because I've been seeing them at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Whenever you start seeing stuff at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, it's a little bit of a flag that people are buying them on sale somewhere. So they're a little bit cheaper, and which means they're a little bit cheaper to buy online, which means you're gonna be selling them for less, right? Um, so these are a pair of Roan shorts. I knew it right away. I saw that stitching right there. After doing this a while, you'll see little stitches or little emblems or little hits or whatever that will tell your brain right away that's what it is because we've seen them before. These are size 32, but there's the inside of the pocket. They were $3.99. I should be able to flip these into the 20s. You guys are gonna be mad at me in the comments, I already know, but I found at the same thrift store a Lululemon polo shirt men's for five bucks, and it has a hit down here at the bottom. I love Lululemon, as you guys already know, I wear a lot of it, so this shirt's really cool, or this polo's really cool, $5. I sell these for around 30 online, plus buyer pay ship. This is a brand that I still pick up. I remember when I first started selling stuff, 2015 or 16 when this brand first came out, or at least when I first started reselling it, it was like, ooh, that one of a kind, you list it, it sells within like a half a day. It was called Untuck It, and it still sells, but that show goes to show you, it's been on the market for a while now, and it still sells pretty well. These were always like $40 resale value, the second you list them, they're $5. Now I sell them for around 20 plus ship. I got a couple of them. So this is a brand that I can take pictures and list in less than a minute because I have so many of them listed or have sold. So I can take pictures, take the measurements, throw them in line or online really quickly. Now, when I do take the pictures, my thumbnail is usually just a picture of the tag and the outside profile of the pattern. Same store, I got a Peter Millar. I usually don't get cotton Peter Millar, but this one is a heathered purple in really good condition, no logos on it, and it, it hasn't been shrunk. Like a lot of these are shrunk or they've been, they're really dingy because they feel like they've been washed a lot or whatever. Five bucks, I'll be able to sell this around $22, especially this time of year in the fall. I'm always finding new women's brands because there are like new women's brands that come out every week. But this one's called Bella Doll, I think, Bella Doll. Uh, but they are some joggers. There are actually two pairs right next to each other. And I looked up comps. The comps were pretty good on these. Uh, they were five bucks a piece. So I will either put these in my whatnot show, which by the way, I do women's whatnot shows. I have a link in my bio if you want a $15 credit off on my show and you can bookmark any of them. But um, I might put these in my whatnot shows because I'm gonna put all my women's in whatnot shows. These sell for a decent amount of money. Uh, I forget what the comps were because it's the first time me finding them, but they sold pretty well. So I'm gonna throw those over there with the women's stuff. All right, back to the grand opening. Here's a bag that I got at the grand opening. So we got those boots. Here's another bag I got. Uh, Polo Ralph Lauren, again, source up method on these. It's kind of unique. I, I don't see these shirts very often, the button-up shirts with that uh, flannel just little insert right there. So I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know if that helped the value very much. And I pay $4.99 for these every time and I sell them for between $16.99 and $20.99. Uh, but for some reason with the five in front of it, I like hesitated, just that $1 difference. But I'll still pick it up, surf's up method that thing. 
Um, and I got this uh, wool, this wool, what do you call it? Dongle? Dongle's the name of the brand. I think I've sold this brand before in women's, but it's just a wool vest. Uh, it's vintage and it's made in Ireland. It was only, let's see, five bucks. I think I can get 30 out of that. So that was a kind of roll the dice thing. I was excited in the moment of being at a new store type of deal. Um, these are BKE jeans. My favorite jeans to sell are BKE. People usually are like, why? It doesn't bring that much money. And you're right, it doesn't. But if you can find them often and sell them often, uh, that's what I like. So I can find these often and sell them, make about a $20 bill each sale. So if I can find them often and sell them quick, I'll do it. So BKE, they were $7.99. I flipped those into around $30, $32. Uh, here is a pair of, what are these? AG jeans. So Adriana Golshmi jeans. And these are the graduate. So there are only a four types that I get from AG that are men's. There are a couple that I don't. But the graduate is one of the types, the lines of AG jeans that I do pick up. These are $7.99. I usually flip these into like the high 20s, $28 plus shipping. These are pretty cool. So Y2K are ba is back in. Everyone knows Y2K is back in. These are Abercrombie & Fitch. I used to wear these. Corduroy uh, pants. So they have that old Abercrombie & Fitch right there. Not old. I would say vintage because Abercrombie's, the company itself is actually old from like the 50s or something like that, like a sporting goods company. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so it has that hit right there. Um, both buttons are there. This was five bucks, yeah. So five bucks, I actually got two pairs, exact same thing. Um, this one's a little bit different, but still has the old tag. But I think I can flip these into like 30, 35. Abercrombie has been doing really good for me lately. And $30, $35, I should be able to do all right with those. Five into 35, good. All right, don't at me, people. But this is a brand that I said I don't pick up. But I have some of my reseller friends saying, oh, I sell that brand all the time if it's a certain pattern. So this looks like a Robert Graham, right? It's not. It's Alan Flusser. And I don't pick this brand up very often. Actually, ever. But my friends have been showing me proof that they've been selling these Paisley ones. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do it, I'm not stubborn. So $5, picked it up and I'm gonna give it a shot. So when I see these, pay, if this sells for me, I'm expecting $20 out of that plus buyer pay shipping. If it sells for me, I'm gonna add that to the list of brands I'm gonna start picking up more, or at least that model. Uh, this is a brand, again, Abercrombie & Fitch. So here's an Abercrombie & Fitch. It's a good size 2XL men's long sleeve full zip sweatshirt and it's got the AF hit right there. So this will sell well too. This was $4.99. This should have been, no, it's a pullover. It's not a full zip. So if it was a full zip, it would have been $5.99. But yeah, $4.99. This should probably sell around 32, 34 bucks. So that's a good one. Also, this is a little secret gem. I'm not gonna show you, I'm just kidding. Um, but these Eddie Bauer Travex, I think they're called. These Eddie Bauer Travex Blazers. These, they're like a nylon, I don't know the exact material, but I would guess it's like a nylon polyester blend or something like that. But these actually sell well. So $8, I don't pick up much Eddie Bauer, but I will pick these blazers up. $8, I forget what I can flip these into, but I know it's over 30. So those are a good pickup. I see them in beige, navy, and black. So just keep your eye out for them. This is a hunter's jacket that I actually got for a buddy. So I'm just gonna give them that. So we're not gonna call that a, uh, something that I bought and sold. Here is a, here's a Peter Millar. And I know I've been on a rant lately about how Peter Millar has gone downhill and it has, but I will still pick it up. It's just gone downhill. That hasn't, that doesn't mean I don't pick up these summer comforts. So this is a summer comfort, no embroidery, really good condition, a nice color green. I'll be able to sell this for a little over 20. These, I'm just used to these going for in the thirties, high thirties for a long, long time. Now, I don't know what the deal is, they're just oversaturated. The really popular ones are the ones with the crazy print. So if you go into golf pro shops, you'll see crazy print every brand polo. That's what people are wearing right now. Not necessarily these solids, but for $5, I had to pick it up. I'll probably sell it for around 22. And also I didn't comp this one out, but I know the maker, uh, well, it's a rain spooner, if I can find it. But yeah, it's a rain spooner. And a lot of times rain spooner does collapse but this is kind of like what Rain Spooner's known. It's a fishing, like oceany scene. So I thought that was pretty cool. 
has some big old tuna on there, mahi mahi, and I paid five dollars for that. I think I could sell this for around low twenties, probably twenty two, twenty three. New brand to me, actually not a new brand, but a new pickup for me, Mott and Bow. So Mott and Bow is a really good jean and chino pants to pick up for men, but I've never seen it for women. And so I picked up these women's. I wasn't sure how they do because they're skinny leg. And y'all women out there, I don't know if you're skinny leg, flare leg, Lululemon, Athleta, you wear everything. So I wasn't sure, but I looked up comps and the comps were good. They were like 30 bucks. So for $8 and there were a lot of them selling. So the sell through rate was good. $8, I picked those up. So I'll let you know how those do. So here's the second location. This is the place we went to after the grand opening. And this is a Tiger Woods polo. Tiger Woods polos sell better than just regular Nike golf polos. I like the screen print tags on these. This was $5. I usually flip these anywhere in between like 24. They can go upwards to 50, depending on if you get like a blade collar or a certain Tiger Wood polo. Uh, if you find one, if you can link it to one that he played in in the Masters or a big PGA tournament, a lot of times it can be worth more money. Uh, this is actually a little kid's um, vineyard vine is cute. I got that for a friend too. So here we have a Travis Matthew, which is kind of falling off a little bit as well. But what I just talked about earlier was the crazy prints. The crazy prints sell well. So you have your hit right there. Good Travis Matthew. And it's five, it was $5. So I'll sell this for right around 20. These used to sell for in the 30s, but now they're at TG Maxx, they're at Marshalls, they're everywhere. And there's a lot more produced. So uh, the... I just get around $20 for them. So I still pick them up as long as they're in good condition. I found a lot of these. You're going to see a lot of these here, but Judy Blue, super good sell-through rate. So these were $7.99. All my jeans were I thrift. You can see were $7.99. But yeah, Judy Blue, size $9.29. I have no idea what that means because I'm not great with women's clothing. I just know the brands to pick up. So Judy Blue's $7.99 into whatever I think they'll bring. Maybe like $25 to $30 plus shipping. I don't know. Uh, but Athleta, size four, these are linen, pure linen, and they're joggers. Or actually, no, these are wide leg, wide leg, not joggers. So joggers would have like a tight cinch down here. These are wide leg. So joggers are popular, but also wide legs are too. I don't get women. These are five bucks, but they're pure linen. I think I could sell them around 22 or something like that. And of course, I can't go thrifting without finding some women's Lululemon. So I already found the men's. Here's the women's Lululemon, some... Uh, just some pants, leggings, or whatever. Uh, I don't know the size. They're probably like a four, but they were $5. Again, these are probably going to be in the 20s, high 20s. A pair of North Face women's shorts. These are $3.99. These always sell well during the uh, spring and summer. Just some basic hiking shorts, nylon. I don't get a ton for these. I only get like $18.99 or something for these, but they sell really quick when I do sell them. All right, back to the grand opening store. Here is a Polo Ralph Lauren short sleeve, which actually they sell better than long sleeve for me. So, or maybe it's just because I've been selling them a lot in the summer. I don't know, but they do sell really well. And this one was again, $5.99. It gave me a little hiccup because I saw the five instead of the four. That's all right, it's a good size 2XL. And this is a great pattern. So I love the colorful Polo Ralph Lauren's. Again, that'll be $18.99. I can list it that quick. Uh, these are from the... Oh, grand opening, Prana. I usually don't like picking up these Prana long sleeves. They kind of sit for a little bit, but I'm going to try doing these a surf's up way where list them quick because I have quite a few of them that have sold and listed. Um, and it was $5. So if I can sell these for like $18 plus shipping and list them really, really fast, it's worth my time. And that one's got a really cool pattern. So five bucks, maybe into like, I just get, hope to get $10 profit off that. Uh, this was neat. So this is a Pendleton. Really cool Pendleton. It's not a blazer. It's like a jet, like an overcoat jacket. See how it has all the buttons in the pockets? So wool, really neat, only $7.99. And again, it's Pendleton. I know most of you know Pendleton, but there are always new eyes here, so I want to show you. Um, but this is a really good jacket, blazer, overcoat. I don't know what you'd call it, but I bet it'll bring around $50, $60. I love picking up gold button blazers. My favorite gold button blazers are Brooks Brothers and Burberry. So Brooks Brothers and Burberry gold button blazers. I love picking up. I guess this is the second pair of Burberry or thing of Burberry I found. My bad. Anyways, $8 for this. And 
this is older, but the gold button Burberry blazer sell really well. This will probably sell for right around $70, 60 to $70. Um, those take a little bit longer to sell because you have to find the person with the exact length of arms and shoulder width and all that sort of stuff, but still worth the pickup, $7.99, hold it for a couple months, sell it for like 70 bucks. All right, so I always tell people the Kujis that sell best are Kuji sweaters. So Kuji sweater, anything with the cable knit, not the t-shirts, not the shirts, not the shoes, not necessarily the jeans, but I bought some Kuji jeans. So again, I was at the grand opening. I was going through everything. I was on like a thrifting high and I bought these. And I think these are actually like from the 90s, from when the Kuji sweaters came out. These are really wide legged. And I looked up the tags on the inside. I think these are from the 90s. If not, it was an $8 gamble, roll the dice. I'm gonna see what happens. Again, I like to try new brands out, new things out, see if they start uh, selling. For example, South Pole hasn't sold for a long time and all of a sudden the jeans are selling very well, like over $40 per pair. So that's what I hope I get out of these, something like that. I actually traded, so Bearded, if you guys don't know, follow the Bearded Thrifter if you don't already follow him. Um, but he's who I went thrifting with and he likes, he thrifts everything and thrifts big items. And I bought a big luggage bag by Toomey. Toomey's a really good brand to be on the lookout for. Um, but I didn't want to ship it. It's big. I don't like shipping all those big items and he does. So I actually trade him for this RLX. He sure, he definitely got a deal on me, but this RLX is super nice. So Ralph Lauren RLX pullover, $4.99 for this thing. It's a full zip. This thing is sweet. It'll probably sell for right around like 40, 45 bucks, I bet. I did not look up the comps to these shoes. These were again at the first store. I tell you, I was in like a, a rush, like high of thrifting, but these are some Nike fly knits. I've never seen these before. They're high, like mid tops. I don't know. And the condition's really good. You can see the bottom. They're not really worn at all. They were only 10 bucks. Again, super easy to look these up, but I was in a hurry. I didn't, but $10, I thought, ah, I'll pick them up. I at least make 30 out of off of them or at least sell them for 30. So if I can make $20 off those, I'll be fine with it because they don't need cleaned or anything. Just take, take some pictures and I'll list it. Here is a brand, obviously, that we all love. Again, Lululemon. Um, these are men's and they don't have a hit at the bottom. So a lot of time people look for a, a little Lululemon dot here. Um, on a lot of the chino shorts and pants, you're gonna see a little tab right here. But the best way to look up Lululemon is just to look right here at the button and then flip it over and you're going to see a Lululemon right there. So yeah, right there. So look at the button, flip it over. You're going to see Lululemon symbol right there. These were $5. These always sell for anywhere between like 40 to 50, $55, depending on like the length. Uh, these were from the bins actually. Uh, so if you guys go to the bins, it's crazy with the shoe people. They are legit nuts. But I happened to get up there and get both of these shoes. So these are Justin boots and I know they look really dirty and everything, but I can clean these up and make them look really nice um, with some shoe uh, conditioner that I use. It's actually in my link tree too. It's really nice, um, but these are nice. Pick these up for, I think they were around five pounds. Um, so paid about $10 for those. They were just under five pounds, paid about $10 for those. So good pickup on those. Here we go. Pull a Ralph Lauren Seersucker. So this is called Seersucker. Again, there are always new eyes. A lot of you know, but these are Polo Ralph Lauren Seersucker. If I can get the shorts, the shirts, the blazers, the pants, anything Polo Ralph Lauren that Seersucker, I'll pick them up. These are $5, a good size and a size 40 and a cool tag. I didn't recognize that tag. So this will probably go for around $20 come summer. I'll keep those and hold those for the summer because I am a seasonal seller. And this is a Harley Davidson Henley, just like a waffle Henley with the big hit on the back. And it's got the spark plug or the piston in the front. And it was $5. So $5. These don't go for as much as they used to. So I'm only expecting around $20 for that. It used to be $30 all day long. All right, we're back to the bins. This was one day, crazy day. And these pants, I've seen them plenty and I've never picked them up because they're always used, but these were at the bins. Vertex pants, new with tags, are actually really lightweight. These weigh less than a pound. New with tags, I think I can get 30 a piece for these. I got three or four brand new with tags. 
Um, and again, they were under a pound, so I paid about a dollar a piece for these. So a dollar and a 30, I mean, you can't get a better ROI than that. Uh, three pair right there. And then also with them, uh, actually it was in the same tote, was this Duluth 3XL Tall. I like getting these Duluth flannels that are really big. They do well for me. And at the bins, this was probably a dollar fifty. Can't lose on that. Oh, and that will sell for around probably twenty dollars for that Duluth shirt. Here's a cute little North Face that I also got at the bins. It was a women's small. It is a women's small. I'm going to give that one a wash for sure. I don't all these bins clothing. I'm going to wash except for the new with tags. But this was probably only a, a buck or two, and it was a women's small. So I'm going to give that a wash. Perfect time of year to uh, get that listed with the fall and winter here. Here's some other, G oh yeah. So I told you I got a lot of pair of Judy Blues. So I went into a store and on a cart they rolled out recently, or it was already there, so it must've been recently, uh, was a pair of Judy Blues. There are actually a few on there, so I got them. And then I went over to the women's section and I found more. So I actually got three pair of Judy Blue jeans all at the one thrift store, $7.99 a piece. Again, a really good sell-through rate. If you get them at the right price, it's worth picking up. The bigger, the better. The smaller ones don't sell as well. There was a white maybe pair there. The reason I say maybe is because it kind of looked reddish. It could have been the color, but it could have also been white and been washed with something that was red. So I didn't want to take the chance that I passed it up. Here is another pair of Judy Blues. Nothing said. So what, how many is that? Five pairs of Judy Blues yesterday alone? One day. All right, last bag. I actually don't buy this brand very often because it's actually sold at Nordstrom. Nordstrom Rack's a very expensive brand, but Theory doesn't do that well for me. But I looked up the women's skirt suit and it does well. The comps are like $50, $60 um, sold. So $9, uh, the tag's the same. So it's $9 for the set. And uh, I'll be fine with 50 or 40. I'll underprice that in a heartbeat. Sell that for 50 or 40, be fine with that. I found also some Lauren Ralph Lauren, surprise, surprise. Lauren Ralph Lauren linen shorts. So anytime I find Lauren Ralph Lauren, anything linen that's cheap enough, $4, I pick it up. Again, it all depends on how much you're buying stuff for. So if I'm like, I buy anything linen, that doesn't mean go buy everything linen because it could be really expensive. But for $4, I picked these up and these little side buttons will definitely be in my thumbnail picture because those are unique. Those uh, are like a little like a little belt built within. Another untuck it. Like earlier, again, $5. I'll sell these for around 20. And last but not least was this really new to me brand. Um, actually, it's down here. I'll show you. It is called Dom, Donkey. Donkey? Let's get a good look at that donkey. Never seen it before. You might not see it. It's vintage. It's, I thought it was a hunting like vest thing, but it's not. It's a camera bag. So it's like photography. Um, when I looked online at the comps, they were good. And it was, uh, there were some pictures of like people in the safari or like in the woods wearing this with all their uh, photography stuff. So that was pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this haul and found some new brands to you. I'll see you in the next one.